welcome back to Engineer's Life, episode number five. Since we last left off, I finished making the rest of our coke brick blocks. We just needed some more bricks, and well, I made quite a bit of those, so a little bit more. I didn't really math it out, which is fine, because we got plenty of clay and other things and other resources, so we don't have to worry about it too too much now some of you guys mentioned to me before some stuff from the other village and I actually remember now that uh, there are seeds over there we're gonna go check that out here in a second but first things first we're gonna set up our brand new coke oven and there we go we already got the achievement because I just pulled them out and it already you know uh, basically gave me the quest for that now someone also mentioned that we needed to craft those sticks before in a crafting table. Maybe that is indeed what the problem was. I'm um, not sure. We'll have to poke around with that a little bit later if we ever get a chance to uh, check that out. Now, uh, we can put wood in here to get creosote, which is fine. It'll give us more charcoal, which I'm assuming we might end up needing more charcoal at some point. So what I'm going to do, I think, is we're probably going to go ahead and put some spruce inside of there now I haven't gone out and got any more wood yet but oh ew well let's take a look at this so it's only coal then okay I thought okay I don't know <laughs> maybe that was removed possibly I don't quite remember um so we can't use charcoal I'm assuming let's go ahead and take a double peek and make sure does not look like it's changing between coal or charcoal, so it looks like we're stuck using coal in this instance, which is fine. Now, we could use blocks of... Actually, I take that back. Might be able to use blocks of coal. Okay, yes. Yes, you can. So that is indeed a thing, but it is going to take a lot longer. You might actually get more doing so, so we might actually do that just to be able to make sure if there is any chance to be a little bit more efficient. So this is going to take a while to basically cook up and give us some creosote which is basically what we're wanting to get let's go ahead and open up our quests here and take a look and see that we have completed the coke brick and this gives us an engineer's manual eh, manual a hammer and a stone coin Ooh, that means we have this guy now which means we get a bottle of enchanting wow i feel lucky <laughs> wait what's wrong with my face I don't understand what's wrong with my face. That's weird. All right, that's interesting. Ooh, shiny. So stone coin will give us a loot chest. Interesting. Wait, does that mean I can... Oh, wait, does this like... Are these like bound to like a certain something or does it just take it when I use it? So we can get uh, worms. Okay, that's used for bait. We can use potion of blessing. Random positive effect two. Eh, I'm all right. 64 bone mill, nah. String, I'm all right. Nah, I'm good. I can get clay. I don't need that. Wood. I'm assuming gravel. I kind of want this. Can I? Can I? Oh, we can. Yes, and it took it. So that's perfect. Good to know. Who wants all that other stuff when you have a chance of random good loot? I'm assuming. Holy jeez. That, that muscle milk. Look at that. Look at all that goody. Mmm. And a little extra iron for later on. Hey, that ain't too bad. You know what? I'll take it. Not the worst in the world. So, yeah, that's cool. Wow, look at all that muscle milk gives. Holy jeez. I'll take that with me. I think we're going to go over there and do that and get that seed real quick. So we're going to let this work. I'll meet you guys back at that village here in just a second so we don't have to, you know, travel all that way over there. All right, guys, here we are back at the village, and this is the building that I totally forgot that does have a balcony that has some wheat on it. So we're going to go check that out real quick and see if we can get those seeds from that as a drop. And sometimes mods, I think, can prevent that from happening, but we're going to find out. I believe it's a little bit higher up, though. Uh, next floor? Yeah, there we go. Let's see. 
Oh, ho, ho, beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. In fact, let's just take it all. Let's take all the things while we're here. I'm also going to go ahead and grab these. We might need those at some point. Um, was there anything else I left up here that I thought maybe I didn't quite maybe need yet? Ooh, glowstone. You know what? I might need that and actually at some point. Let's go ahead and take that while we're here. Get these books now that we have a little bit more inventory space to work with. Grab that glowstone. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, look at that. More. <laughs> Sorry, villagers. You already don't have any food. What's a little bit more not having gonna hurt anyways? Wow, there were seeds in that chest. Oh my gosh. I am... Wow. Well, um, totally knew that. To yeah. Yeah, I knew that. I knew, the yeah. We are good. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. Completed. We get all of these things, so we can probably make ourselves some sort of farm. Now we can go ahead and craft a lunch bag, which is something we've already been able to do. Um, just wanted to wait until we got to the quest so we can get the thing completed, but I... Because sometimes I think, I'm wondering if these are like crafting things, right? So I don't know if you have to actually have to craft it or, I, it probably depends on how it's just set up is all, right? So it just, just to double check and make sure. That's kind of the idea there. Now that looks like something down there. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We have treated wood planks here. Which I believe is a quest. Let's grab these real quick. 20, huh? I'm just gonna go ahead and take those. I'm wondering if that is a quest. It is. Look at that. <laughs> so finding a village is totally not cheating. That's actually gonna help a little bit, though. Um, And I'm probably gonna go ahead and take off all of those as well. Just... A, because it's going to be easier, and B, I would assume, um, just good. <laughs> we're going to need a lot anyways, is basically what I'm getting at here. So, we're just going to go ahead and grab those. And actually, I'm going to grab this spruce while I'm here as well. It's already all on a practically broken building. Then I'll probably end up using some of that for anyways. Let's get some muscle milk in our stomachs. Oh my goodness, what the heck? Health boost 2? Oh, I need to figure out how to make that stuff. That's some really nice uh, milk. <laughs> That's some good stuff right there. Holy jeez, I don't even know what that extra thing is above my health right there. Uh, what is that? Resist is that supposed to be like a resistance 2 kind of thing? Is that what those are supposed to represent? Very interesting stuff. So we got plenty of gravel over here, which I noticed uh, last time when I was heading my way back to base from going over there to that village. And uh, yeah, so if we need uh, any any sort of gravel, we got plenty now. I do want to start my build, and I think we're going to start that kind of soon. What we're going to be doing is slowly progressing through making our build, not necessarily slowly progressing through doing all of these quests. Because then I'm assuming it... <laughs> It's, it's going to take a little while for some things, right? Like this. This is going to probably take a little bit. As you can see, it's still working. I'm guessing this is around 75, maybe 80% done. It's not necessarily showing for us at the moment. So that is a thing. And let's go ahead and put a few things away real fast. And then we're going to sleep. Then we're going to go ahead and check out our next quest. So we're probably going to want those as well. Um, I definitely need to make some more better chests as well. Let's go ahead and pick one of these guys up, as this is indeed also another part of our quest. And boom, quest completed. You will need it. Now, we didn't craft that necessarily in our uh, crafting table. We actually crafted that in our... Oh, oh, does that... Wait, hold on. New quest? What does that, what does that mean? Ooh, we got another loot chest. Those are my favorites. I like those a lot. So the wooden barrel, let's go and see. I don't think I've actually used these very much. So slabs and plank. Did I just take damn? Oh, we lost our health boost. That's what it was. <laughs> Whoops. All right, there we go. So there's the barrel. We need that guy. 
Um, I don't think I've used these. Are these these are for items, right? Or are these for actually fluids? So it doesn't have a GUI. Let's go ahead and check. Yep. I think this is for fluids only. Right. All right, so fluid storage. There we go. So we can see on the tooltip there, now it says water and out of the mill of buckets. Before, it doesn't actually say that, so it kind of makes you wonder a little bit. But good to know. It's actually for uh, fluids. Very nice stuff. Okay. Because I, I didn't... I, I just don't use those very much. I, I really don't. Oh, my goodness. Look at all of the goodies. Well, they're not amazing, but it's something, right? And here is where the part is coming in that I do believe that we probably want to start looking into getting a little bit more storage space. As you can see, we are filling up our chests quite quickly. Um, so we still got that one. That's for all of our goodies. And I probably need to go through and organize and sort some stuff very soon as well. Uh, let's go ahead and claim this chest. This is going to give us a potion of high step for extension of 64 minutes. High step? Holy cow. That must be like two blocks or more. That'd be interesting. That's a long time, too. Um, so we get an extra pick, I guess? In the reward zone. Now, what... You know what? I'm going to hold on to this. I'm actually going to use this and hold on to it. There might be something we need down the road. So it might be smarter to kind of hold off on that until we can kind of see a little bit further down. So let's go ahead and see. So we got a way to get a little extra food here by completing the fishing rod. Which is completely easy to do. We just need a few things. I'm pretty sure this is super easy. Unless they changed it. And they did. <laughs> How wonderful. What did you do? Okay, so literally just an... Okay, so vanilla recipe with iron nugget. There was a different one in there, but yeah. We're just going to go with this one. That would be fine. Which actually kind of makes, to me, a little bit more sense. And I'm actually... Okay, see, I crafted it in the crafting table. <laughs> That's proof right there that that just did that. I'm not too worried about the reward. I'm not going to go through and say, hey, let's just complete this right now. I'm not worried about it. That didn't work. So, is what it is. But I do want this lunch bag. This is going to be a big help to us uh, for storing our food, indeed, and cycling it for us. So, to make this, it's a little bit different, I believe, than normal. And we're using tanned leather. So we do need our drying racks back, it seems. And uh, we're probably going to want to go ahead and do most of our leather. So that way we can make the armor as well. So let's go ahead and set these guys down. We'll set them up over this way for the moment. Kind of like so. Yeah. yeah that looks pretty good. Oh, cool. A shift click works just fine in those two. Good to know. So that's just going to take but a minute and actually, we'll leave our uh, leather over here for our drying racks. So how are we doing? Oh, it's counting down. Never mind. I take that back. So now we're probably getting closer to this. <laughs> I thought it was going up, not down. Well, that's my mistake. All right, so the lunch bag is next. And then someone also mentioned that we could use the rainbow out there. Since we're going to be getting rid of it anyways, uh, we can use the rainbow to get us our sleeping bag because we're gonna need blue i'm pretty sure we already got white let's grab the blue that we're gonna want boop plus i like the blue we ruined the rainbow well too bad too bad not a big deal i'm getting rid of it anyway so don't 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 even worry about it all right let's see we got a little extra wool there and let's go ahead and do sleeping bag which will be nice in case we're out on the road doing anything. You can always just rest. So you're going to need to do two crafts of those. And that will yield you your sleeping bag. There we go. Very nice. So you can see right here we are running out of room. Holy jeez. I might have to start utilizing our, our other ones over here. So there we go. Quest completed. Very nice. Let's go ahead and claim our bush tea. Something very nice. And we should be able to... Yes... Here we are. Look at that. So we're going to go ahead and probably continue putting the remainder of this in here so we can complete those other quests as well. I want to actually try to do most of these quests because I am really enjoying this pack so far. So I might end up trying to do 
most of them as long as they're not too crazy down the down the road um, because I don't really want to get too too insane with all of this if there's some crazy things like collect two jajillion cobbles cobbles <laughs> I know I, I I it was it was a joke that's kind of the reason why I stuttered like that um all right, so we just put some food in here. So shift right click, uh, cycles it through a little bit, and then we just need to find the food that we want to put in there, things that we haven't eaten recently. So we've kind of ate that recently. Uh, what else have we not eaten recently? Well, we got a bunch of pumpkin pie. Now, I think it only holds a certain amount of things. So we're just going to grab a few random things here. Um, we can put the pumpkin... Oh, well. Okay, so I just... Uh Let's just take that tea out. Let's just not worry about that right now. Um, there we go. Pretty nice stuff. All right. Well, looks like our inventory is getting pretty... Oh, it's getting so close. So, so close. How are we doing? Nice. All right. So, this is done. I think this is going to be enough to make us our tanned leather armor. So, this should not have... Any different recipe, I'm assuming. Looks like we're good. And there we go. Full set. Tan leather armor. That should be quite completed. And we got some molasses bread. Well, look at us. We are almost done with that very first page. Look at us. Where is my armor, actually? I had armor. That's so weird. Where did my armor go, actually? What happened? Wait a minute. I didn't die. I didn't ever go out anywhere and do anything. That is so weird. Wait, whoa. I had armor. Dude, that is... That is... I hope this isn't a bug. That kind of seems like that might be a bug. All right, so to eat, so you just basically shift right click to see it open there. And there you go. Eat, and it'll cycle through the food that you have in there. So very nice stuff. But yeah, I had like an iron helmet, right? You guys remember that, correct? I'm not just like going crazy, am I? And I don't remember putting that stuff away. I don't see it in any of my chests here. So that is... That is... Not good. <laughs> so I could actually complete this. Um, I just don't see the thing in here to do that. But I'm actually kind of curious in this next part anyways. Which is progressing through the next part. So we're going to see that we're going to be getting into better with mods here. Which is very nice. We got things like the hemp, the hand crank. Which I'm actually very excited to get into and check out. Now let's see. What is this? Okay. It's a free, free thing. So we got, a free, we got a free pebble to play with. Nice. Okay. Cool stuff. I don't... Oh, the glider. This... <laughs> I would walk 500 miles and I'd walk 500 more just to be the man who would walk 1,000 miles. Aesthetics. I'm happy about this. I am very happy about this. Oh, and these give you XP, it looks like. Oh, I like his, de I like his decisions on what to give for what quests. That is very nice. Very nice. All right, well, we're making our way through. So we got... We gotta work our way through the mechanical age, and then we'll make our way to the industrial age, agricultural expansion, industrial revolution, then eventually the digital age. So let's go ahead and take a look at our hand crank here. Oh yes, the loot chests! Oh, I love that. All right, so we already got a wooden gear, which is wonderful, and we need the two treated sticks that we actually already have. So let's grab one of these wooden gears, and then take a look at this one more time. We just need two cobbles, so we got everything we need. Let's go ahead and do crank. There we go. You have better with mods manual. The mod might be different than what you were expecting. Please leave the crash, read the crash course section. That's cool. There you go. There's your crash course. Right into that chest over there. Give me my loot box. Give me my loot box. Oh, holy mother. Hello. How are you doing? Thank you. Who wouldn't want that upgrade? That is an awesome up. Apiris shoes empowered inventory one and jump two. What is inventory? Adds an inventory to your armor. The size depends on the armor type. Sent key to open it in the game options. 
I'm not going to worry about that right now. But that is still very awesome. That is that is very awesome. I like it. So we got jump, jump boost what two? So we can jump like twice now. Look at that. Look look at that jump. Look at look at my mad hops. Look at me, cow, horse. What's that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that helps. But it does, I believe, use a little bit of the uh, power in there. So there is under durability. You notice there is power. So I'm assuming the durability means it is probably gonna break pretty easily. I'm gonna take those off actually. Let's not worry about using those right now. Nice. Look at that. We got our creosote. Even though we already completed that quest, we're not too worried about that. Creosote oil clay bucket. Well, what do you know? Guess what I got? I got a creosote clay bucket and a bottle of enchanting. Very nice. And then we got him. Him is a crop. That may be planted like wheat. The tough fibers stem of the hemp plant can be ground into hemp fibers using a millstone. And those fibers can be fashioned into rope, fabric, and other items. And then it just basically tells you a little bit about the other stuff. So we got a bronze coin. We're getting into a new age, apparently, which is interesting. Now, this is not doing that. Okay. It wants me to make some torches, so I'm going to make some torches. Let's grab like eight of those, and we should have the fibrous plant stuff. Got a little coal just chilling in there. That'll free up a, a spot for us. Do I have coal anywhere else? Is that all the coal I had? Oh, good. <laughs> Thank the heavens. There we go. That should be enough. I'm just going to put that in there for now. It's fine. Boop. There you go. Um, detect. Nice. We did it. And now we have 12 torch arrows, which is something I don't even think I really want. Uh, so I, I'm assuming in order to get to the millstone, we need to grow this hemp first. So let's see. So I'm assuming we can use the industrial hemp seeds. So what we're going to do real quick is we're just going to go ahead and try to complete this real fast and see if this will actually work. So we're going to grab some of our bone meal. We're also probably going to want to grab and make ourselves a hoe. I'm assuming we can make a hoe. I just want it to work once. That's all. Okay, we can't. So let's see what we need to do that. Oh, okay. Um, well, tinkers it is. Looks like we're going to need to make ourselves a matic, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go ahead and jump in. Why is my... Okay, I was going to say, why is that empty? Good thing it's not. All right, so let's go ahead and put this inside of there. And can I do... I thought there was a little thing that came up on this side when this was working right. I guess not. All right, we're just going to make one out of flint for now. I wonder if I can use the treated wood as a handle. I wonder if that'll work. Yeah, I'm not sure why that's doing that. That is very awkward. All right, so I can use that. I want to try. Oh, we can. Perfect. So the treated wood sticks are the way to go, it looks like. Maybe not the way to go, but it works, right? So we'll use that for now. So let's go ahead and take a look at our Matic. Boom, boom, boom. And we got ourselves a Flint Matic. A very nice upgrade from our hatchet. It works as a shovel, a hoe, and a hatchet. So very good stuff. And it can do some pretty okay damage. It's actually not the worst. So this one does... Wow, sad. The Flint Matic actually does more damage than the hatchet. That's kind of crazy, actually. All right, so we got all that. Let's go ahead and grab a bucket of water as well. And we're just going to come right outside here. And we're just going to plant it, like, right here. Just for now, because... I don't want to go too crazy with this. I just want to get the quest completed. So let's do this. Oh, look at that. Hemp. So that actually does work that way. So industrial hemp from immersive engineering goes into the regular hemp. And yes, it is what you think it is. But let's not worry about it. We're not going to be like doing anything recreational with this. Uh, but we got it completed. Very nice. And that gives us our bronze coin and access to... Crafting our millstone, which is another gear and stone. 
All right, cool. Bronze tier rewards. Hey, you know what? I like the sound of that. That actually sounds pretty awesome. All right, so we got all that, and we still got our extra wooden gear, which is going to be great. We don't have to craft it. And there we go. We got ourselves the millstone. Quest completed. Very nice. And now we can start working our way through the remaining parts of this. But I want to check out this reward zone. Oh, it did it. You better believe I want that shiny. Look at that. 32 treated. You know what? I want that. I'm just going to complete these and take these for now because I like those. I love my loot chests. <laughs> They're so good. Uh, okay, let's just go ahead and do this for now. Put all this stuff away we don't necessarily need. I will go through and try to organize this a bit better later on. And I think that should be pretty good. So kind of tool bag in a sense for now. Uh, and we'll do that. Okay. Oh, you can't put the storage crate in the in a storage crate. That makes sense. Here we go, loot chest. Hey, look at that. We got another wooden gear. So basically, it just gives us, like, dungeon loot, right? Which is cool and all, but not necessarily the, the best thing in the world, but it's something, right? So fortunately, those don't stack. I'm just going to put those over here for the moment. And there we go. Looking pretty awesome. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. What? Oh, that's right. I didn't come. Okay. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Well, we have made some pretty decent progress so here's those whittled sticks again this is kind of worrisome to me i'm not gonna worry about this right now and i can see that we have the advanced tinkering but we still have yet to make ourselves a tinker's construct uh smeltery so let's go ahead and take a look at something seared brick so let's go ahead and look at our seared stuff here um Seared furnace controller. I think he disabled the other one. I think it looks like we're going to be using Tinker's Compliment because this is fine. I, I do like making this structure. If you guys don't know, there's actually a, a furnace uh, multi-block from Tinker's that you can make. And that is what this one is for, which is really awesome. But it looks like he disabled the other one, which is completely understandable. But we just need to make... This one. Smaller version of the smeltery. Place above a heater or seared tank to fuel. So that would be fine. Let's go ahead and see how we actually do this. Now, it looks like this is the reason why we haven't made this yet. Is because the only way to get seared brick is inside of a kiln. And the kiln is basically built with the brick. And I believe a fire source underneath of it. So I think we do have a few extra bricks that we can actually utilize to make ourselves a kiln. Um, let's pick these up. We're going to try this out. If I remember this correctly, we might be able to make a kiln. Because starting to work towards that is going to be essential. Especially if we want to upgrade these tools we have. Now, I believe we're also going to need a little bit of a fire underneath of this, but this might be enough for what we want. So if we do that, and then underneath this block, I believe, we can put another one of those. So let's get a piece of wood out. Spruce. Pop you in there. Let you do your thing. Find our flint and steel. Where's my flint and steel? Ah! Smart man. Putting it on the tool rack. Very good. And then we can also start setting up the, the millstone. So what I'm thinking while this is doing its stuff, um, I'm going to probably between episodes do a little bit of clearing out. Right about in here. I think we're going to clear out a little flat area so I can build me a small little safe house. Uh, we might have like a little basement underneath as well. And then I'm going to start doing buildings coming down this slope. And you'll see that uh, over time as we progress and we get to a point of actually needing that. As it sits right now, I don't think we're going to need it too much, but we will definitely be needing some more space in the coming future. I can probably uh, safely say that for sure. So that, Oh, look at that! We did it! Advancement made kiln. Dude, I am 
I am on a roll. So what do we need for grout? Grout is exactly what I think it is, but this is where the cauldron comes into play. <laughs> oh man, oh, and that is so much iron. Holy cow. And you know, this is actually kind of crazy. If you think about it though, I have yet to actually go out and do very much mining. Like, the, the amount that we have done so far for mining is kind of crazy, right? So we have, like, gone through, just done a few things just on the surface. I haven't even dug a mine. And usually by this point in the episode, like, uh, series, I've dug a mine, right? So this is kind of crazy just to think about. But we do need quite a bit of that. And then we're going to need... I don't even think I can use this iron. Can I even use this for anything? I can okay, so I can convert it, and that'll save us a little bit of time, right? So we just basically do that, and it converts it back into iron lump, which is pretty much an ingot, right? So that is awesome, very cool. So that gives us a little bit of space. So we need seven plus six, which is thirteen, and we got twenty-seven in there, which means we got about another four. So we got a seven. We got uh, we got eight. <laughs> So we need more iron. We need more iron. And then we also got this iron ore right here. So this is just going to smelt down and give us another iron nugget. Now, oh, we can put it since... Oh, well, that's actually better. So if we do this, this is slowly, I believe, going to turn it into an iron ingot. Seems how it's... Oh, that needs to be a stoked kiln completely wrong actually but we can do this and that will give us a little bit better oh this is unfortunate yeah i'm gonna break this and it's gonna give me that stuff dang it but we can use this right so we're just checking jei jei is our best friend when it comes to this stuff which is great so what we're gonna do is we'll put that right down there we'll toss this into our millstone this is going to use probably a good chunk of our hunger doing this but it's going to grind it down so that way we get better yield from the iron that we got. And I'm wondering if we can actually do that with the iron clusters as well. Unfortunately, it seems like we cannot. Hmm. Tis unfortunate. But look at that. See, we already got an iron grid. Very nice. So we can go ahead and pop this in here once this is done. We'll do that. And that'll give us a little bit more of our iron nuggets to help us along here a little bit. Few more clicks of these until this gear fills up to the top one more click and we should be good there's our other iron grid very nice very nice all right pop that guy in there does one smelting operation unless there's some other ways we can get some iron we might have to go find some more I'm not really seeing anything there this is and I'm not going to help us out too much, it seems. So the light block. This is interesting. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll take a look at that a little bit more later on. For now, we're completely fine not worrying about it. We don't need that at the moment. I think we're good. Um, so the iron cluster. So we just checked, made sure we're not getting anything else out of that. So kind of messed up there a little bit, but it is A-OK. -okay. So there we go. There is four more of those, and we miscalculated? Did I miscalculate that? I think I miscalculated that. Yeah. I think I did just a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and double check our chest here. I want to make sure we're not missing out any iron or anything of that nature. So we can see we got like the tin just sitting in here, and I didn't even realize. And then how's this doing? So this is pretty much full. So we need to empty this out. And what I'll do is we'll use our wood barrel here. And I'm going to put it right there for the time being. So we can actually do this. Just kind of uh, clear this out a little bit so it will continue working and have enough space. So that way it will continue to make us creosote and coal coke blocks. Eventually we'll be able to get it away. I'm assuming to make some sort of pipe to be able to pipe it into that. But it's also almost full, so there's that. 
this is not looking too bad and i love the fact that we have better with mods i am enjoying better with mods it is a fun fun mod to poke around with so we'll need another low grade charcoal it seems for this particular craft and um so yeah that's stoked casting and we're not there yet because we're noticing we can't make that until we get to the kiln or not the kiln but the uh the crucible so i'm just trying to kind of poke around here and see exactly what we can do oh i like that iron just refines right into steel so we need to go do a little bit of mining that is the plan i'm gonna have to do that either between episodes i might go ahead and set up the mine system down into the world and maybe do a little bit of clearing out between episodes so i think that is the plan for now and uh we did some pretty good work today i would say so i'm gonna go ahead and say thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed be sure to hit that like button it helps me out lets me know you guys are enjoying the series and see if you guys are enjoying it as much as i am because i i am liking this it doesn't feel too grindy it feels kind of normal um just kind of having to work your way through the ages and i love it i love that a lot so yeah hit that like button guys uh, if you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments like you guys have been, put them down in the comment section down below. You can keep an eye on those, and I'll try to keep up with them as well. So with all of that being said, um, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you back in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.